A lot of people think that you can get better at TF2 just by playing the game casually, which is true if you're new, but after tons of hours of playing, you stop increasing your skill. That's because there's a new plateau you have to try to reach and pass to get better, so just playing the game casually won't get you anywhere. I know this because you don't get better at TF2 just by playing in trade servers or in orange servers. And by changing what game modes you play in and how you play, you can improve drastically because that's just what happened to me. Since I think the in-game matchmaking system to me is very casual, I'm going to be showing you other ways to get better. Now of course, it's your choice to take TF2 seriously, but if you are interested in improving, continue watching this video. The first thing you should work on is DM. MGE servers are great for this, because even if you're in a bad situation, DM can help you live sometimes. Now I already know people are going to be complaining about it not teaching game sense and it being useless. All I can say is just wait because I'll cover that in the video as well. DM in 6s is very important because you only have 6 players on each team obviously. One crucial pick can start a push because the other team can get overwhelmed or they just not having the right classes to defend themselves. Before I knew about MG, I had horrible aim with the scout and struggled to protect myself. MG helped improve my movement because I get to be patient with myself and try to avoid enemy fire. It's easier to get better movement in MG because you don't have a bunch of spam come get you like in a pub or, or lobby so it lets you focus on ways to strafe around and dodge. It improves your aim because when you're only finding one person, it gives you again focus on how you're aiming pretty much puts you in a 1v1 DM oriented arena. And to find MGE servers, you can just go to teamfortress.tv then click servers tab. Or you can find it in the server browser by only searching for MGE servers. Now let's focus on something that improves game sense. DM servers, which means deathmatch, are great for getting better because it teaches you how to take on multiple fire and not mongoloiding into the whole enemy team. In real sixes, you're not gonna be fighting one person. You'd fight multiple targets and also keep in mind that you have teammates that can help. It's very hard to kill with two good scouts at the same time and really stupid to rush the whole enemy team. With the discipline from DM servers, it can teach you how to handle certain situations in a sixes match. The way I find DM servers is by again going to tfortress.tv and clicking the servers tab. Playing lobbies is a great way to know how to communicate and actually play with a team. Even though TF2 Center lobbies are not always serious and some aren't even mobile enabled, by the way, Mumble is an application that lets you talk to your team via mic. It's still better than matchmaking because there are weapon bans and class limits. It's rare to find a talking and coordinated team in matchmaking, unless you're playing with a stack. So if you're someone who is new to sixes, I recommend you playing TF Center because it teaches you the flow of sixes and the calls. There's also a website called Mixchamp that is a little more serious than TF Center and you get to choose whatever class you want to play from the start. Recording demos or FCVs are very useful for analyzing. You can watch yourself play a match and try to see what you can improve on or what you did wrong. This is good for players who don't think about their mistakes while the game is happening. It's also good for seeing which one of your teammates are underperforming or why they did things in some cases. Watching your SDV or demo with your team can bring in different perspectives and reasonings of why things are what they are. To record a demo, just type in console, record, then whatever name you choose. When you're done, just type stop in console. To watch it again, you can open the WI by pressing shift and F2. Click load and find the demos in your tier folder. 
click the one you want to watch then click open or you can open consoles and type play demo then the demo name if you played in a mix or a lobby most of the time they get uploaded to demos.tf just make sure to log in to see your past games and to save the demos in your tf folder when you download them Jump maps are a great way to improve as a soldier and your movement. The most obvious one is it teaches you how to rocket jump well, which is very important in sixes, because rocket jumps are used a lot, especially as a roamer, when you need to get to your team quickly, bombing the enemy team, or retreating quickly. It deals with fast mouse movement and strafing, which can help you with the other classes too. Surf maps are also great, even though it looks like a fun game mode, it's still useful. Surfing is important because when you're a medic, you can surf rocket or other explosives to make it hard for you to be killed, whereas a soldier is surfing in the air to get in a specific area or to surf out damage. All the classes in TF2 can surf, so knowing how to do it well can put you on an advantage. One optional thing you get to do is to install a graphics config. A graphics config is not only used by people with bad computers who need an FPS boost, it's also used by people who like reducing visual clutter. A lot of good players use it because it's very important to get best FPS out of your PC and to know what you're looking at. So it really gives you a big advantage. The graphics config I use is the Rhapsody's performance config with the no smoke mod. This is what it looks like when I'm using it with my edited video options. I use default quality when I'm recording a video for your enjoyment, but when I'm actually playing the game, I have the graphics config on. Now, doing all these in one day won't help you or if you just do them once in a while. It's better to stay consistent and practice frequently. These are the ways I improve at TF2 and hopefully it can help you too. If you have any other tips, just leave them in the comment section and explain how they help.